Washington Watch with Roland Martin is powered by HP. Folks, welcome back to the show. Let's get right back into our panel. Uh, we, we, we talk about the economy in terms of how people are thinking and yes. feeling and who speaks for folks. Uh, we saw the Democratic strategist Hillary Rosen uh, sure stepped into some deep doo-doo this week uh, when it came to uh, the issue of talking about Mitt Romney relying on his wife uh, as a voice when it comes to working well, sorts of women and the economy. And <clears throat> she really hit her by saying, look, here's a woman who's never worked a day in her life. Uh, frankly, I thought it was a stupid comment by Hillary. I thought it was ridiculous. And the one thing she failed at, somebody who's supposed to be a big time lobbyist and PR guru and all of that sort of stuff. You never change a narrative. She successfully by herself by making an idiotic statement, totally changed the narrative and forced the Democrats away from nailing the Republicans on constantly attacking women and basically turn Rich and Romney into a great victim. You know, but this one of the things, I'm sorry, April, I got to say this. This is one of the things that she did, which I don't understand why she had to go there. She attacks someone who's not running for anything. You never go after the, the, uh, the person's spouse from a policy that's, standpoint. Well, that's, been, that's been done. That was done and every, ad nauseum. And, oh, wait. And, and it never really had very much of an impact. And, right. And I, I remind mean, you, and I remind you that every time that um, someone does that, they often get their hand bitten yeah. because, because you just don't do that. And, and so what I don't understand, to your point, Hillary, and then I'll be quiet so you can speak, April, is why, and Hillary knows this, she's a, she, professes to be a seasoned political operative, and I just don't understand why she would actually go down that road gotcha. where she didn't have to. I'm trying to understand the Hillary Rosen thing, I mean, myself, but I, and, and just looking at it journalistically, I think she, she, she missed a couple of words. She wanted to basically, in my mind, say that, you know, Ann Romney is a stay-at-home mom who probably... Is, has a nanny or something. Maybe she wanted to put that in there, oh. saying, you know, that she wasn't doing what that. I'm thinking that. Right. 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 It doesn't George, make it right. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it right. But no, I'm trying to be. But but let me tell you this: there is a fight between the women who work and the women who stay at home. Is, Both is, of us okay, are first, working first women. Of all, first of all, George, uh, like any comedian, say when you got to explain the joke, it, it okay. failed. Yeah. Well, the other point is this here, to 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 uh, to Robert's point, in which I, I said this uh, this week as well. When you focus on persons, on a person, and not policy, yeah. then that's where the attacks come in. And so to April's point, when you stay on the policy, what has Mitt Romney done for working women? Who are you dealing with? As you're traveling around this country, are you talking to working women in these, in these places? <clears throat> but his also was interesting, George. According to the polling data, white working women are supporting Romney at a higher rate than Obama, but it's college-educated women that Romney has a problem with over President Obama. Yeah, I agree it's a bad tactic. I mean, but even if she want to say something, she can talk about the women, because most women, so you're talking about black women, they are they are, they are to take care of the kids, and they're working. And But but it's, it's nothing to be gained from that. I mean, it's just nothing. Why even go there? Now, folks, on another note, while everybody was focused on Hillary Rosen, let's deal with rich GOP donor Foster Freeze, Foster Freeze making this comment on Lou Dobbs' show where he said that he hoped that President Obama's teleprompters were bulletproof and then said, hmm, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have made that comment, and Lou Dobbs sort of agreed with that. Uh, this guy's made some crazy comments like that before, and, uh, but it didn't get as much attention as the Rosen piece. Look, the president's safety. <laughs> I don't, no, I'm not laughing on that one. No, I, yeah. well, I right. mean, I, I, the reason why I'm trying to collect my thoughts here: the president's safety should never, ever be put in jeopardy, regardless of whether he's black, white, that's or right. purple. So that you don't play with that, and that's what he was doing there. That's number one. Number two, um, you know, this whole narrative, regardless of whether you're Republican or Democrat or independent or communist, to to talk about the president of the United States in the same sentence of death right. or bullets or anything like that, knowing what this country has gone through from a racial standpoint, knowing what this country has gone through from an assassination attempt standpoint with Ronald Reagan, with John F. Kennedy, you don't do that. Since and 2008, we've, been, we've had nothing about that And what I'm surprised stuff. by and, is... And there's been no kind of outrage on the well, right. It, and, well, and there's been nobody saying, look, stop it, knock it off. Well, We're talking about... It's, it's been nothing but disrespect. And for disrespect the, and the, and the, of the president. Well, 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 and, just to be, and just to finish that thought, to your point, there was no, there was no sense of outrage from the right or, or the left, or there was, the left. There was, there was a lot of outrage for the left, but the I right never really... Well, actually, well, again, though, I, I believe from a media standpoint, the Hillary Rosen story 
push this sure. out of the way. Sure. But it still goes to show why we can't actually and, operate with the left hand and the right hand at the same and, time. And, 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 and in, a way, in a way, this is more serious than that. Here's a president who's received more threats than anybody else. Combined. So, so, so why would you even begin to joke about that? Hey. No, it, it's irreparable. Well, April, April, April right. Hold on, Joe. Hey. There are a lot of threats that you don't even hear about that's going on against right. this president. But the bottom line is about disrespect. <laughs> it's not just because he's a black person. The disrespect of the, of the presidency, the office, the office of president. Now you're dealing with other stuff about, you know, the racial thing. But you have to always remember, no matter what happens, this is a town where we're always tit for tat. And this was Hillary Rosen's etch-a-sketch moment versus what happened happened with the Mitt Romney campaign. So they wanted to play that up. And that, we've heard so much about... But, we, but, here's the deal. Sorry, Bottom, but here's the deal. Bottom line is... Freeze is out there speaking on behalf of a candidate. He makes this comment. And frankly, even even and I'll say this here, even shame on Lou Dobbs, even for not directly looking him in the eye and said, I'm sorry, that is wrong. You should never joke about yeah, that. I don't right. believe it should be simply excused right. as, yeah, you shouldn't have said it. And so I also believe that media folks, folks who have shows, should have the guts to sit here and check somebody. And so Lou Dobbs, I worked with Lou before. Normally he would do that, but shame on him for not checking him on that and, point. And, 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 and especially on a network like Fox News. I mean, let's just call it as we have to be very careful. I don't care if it's, right. if it's, if it's you know, ABC network. It's, right. it's, it's every reprehensible. But you have to be careful with Fox. You have to be careful of that type of a viewership. Gotcha. But Joe, 10 is, seconds. This is always uh, the, the, the big picture here for me is the fact that we've got a guy who is funding campaigns. We have a guy who is going to influence an election. That's right. We have a guy who is representing views that are probably very closely tied to many of the people who he supports, many of the causes he supports. Right. This is coming out into the open. We need to pay attention. All to that. right, panel, we appreciate it. Thanks a bunch.